going to ask you to tell us what you're looking for. So the only one that's a game is the Team of Sandy and Alan Watson, who won the 22 interplot. He's now at Mutual and Craig in Creek. He was brought up on it two years ago as a lamb, but is by Ditton Distinto. Next to that, we have the Suffolk champion, Ian and Jimmy Farber. And this is the first time they've won for 15 years, is that right? 15 years of show, Jimmy. And a very impressive view. This year was outstanding in the new class and a very strong class. The male champion is a top lamb from the regular class winner here, Bobby Ross, who runs the Sapphire Clock at Tiriff. It's a January born lamb shown by Mark Priestley and is by an 18,000 girls great top. And we'll be heading for the big sale Sterling next month. Next to that, we'll put the Texel champion, a homebred two crop youth from regular winner John Fursline from the right side of the bowl. The shoe which also took champion as a team sheet here last year is by the 33,000 guineas in US London, and is shown by Brian Webb uh, Shipper. Now, she says here, take a close look at her, she's a tiny person. Well, I think when you won the Highland twice, you deserve a long and happy retirement. I'm, so, I'm sure John is round as well. All my time that John has been here, this will be changing in the ring. The new champion is a top man from Jimenez. He's by the home plate top, Strathbogie Terminator. Next to the Texas, we have the male Texas. And the champion this time is from King of Doors. King of Doors Pearl, a home plate two crop U from Richard Wood. She was reserve champion of this Eagle. The male champion is British Ring Leader. Shirley Ram from Tiny Leader Alistair McLean. And he was born as last year a career of former affairs and guineas in partnership with Mary de Mont of the Custine Club. The Rouge back this year after an absence for a year. We've got the numbers back up. Champion this time for the back in one. And Aberdeen, the Guineas and Motors stood first here. And the last day she did show in the club. And first in any of his sessions in Turf last year. Uh, uh, next to the Rouge, uh, Charles, champion here is a home uh, game from the brothers Gregor and Bruce England, uh, the 20-year-old name flop, alongside the parents of William and Carl Ingram's Bogey Drummer flop from Inverary. Uh, She's by Crogham Hannibal, it's to the first in a class of the show. Uh, Real champion, parents uh, won by the uh, Ingram's Bogey Drummer Uh, this session is doing. 
Camping giver from Annabeed and John Thurman, a regular winner. There's a 40 year homely flock called Stone Pires Spinston. There's a lamb from the Camish family and stood second at Northumberland this year. Real champion Hopeless Sheila and Lamb from the school teacher Jim Mayer called Hedgefield Wake from this. He is heading to the East Wales for a mile later on this year. The fetch and ring and starting at the top once again with the Blackies. Champion the home bed two top view from Arnold White and Sons at Midland Crawford. To champion at the Eagles last year is by a £13,000 dink. Real champion, three sheer ram from Sam McClement at tennis at Yarrow, led by Dean Aiken up at Cliff. Then we come on to the North Countries. Champion here, once again a regular winner who's aging with all the success he's getting, is a Rocket Aransaman for the third consecutive year, this time with a previously unshown two crop view from Alan Shaw's. Alan Shaw's, she is by Simpson Bullseye, top the two champion here last year for Alan Shaw's. Real champion from Welshbeater, Hugh, Melford and Joe from Anglesey, producing their best ever result here, winning the male championship with Simpson Monty. A top bottom locker being 2011 for 6,000 guineas from Scott Davis. Next we have the uh, Health Time Chief. Uh, Old Bay Gimmer from First Time Exhibitor Malcolm McCall from Inverbrora Sutherland. She's by a Langdale uh, style, led by Huey and Dean McKenzie, <laughs> and was brought out by Gary Sutherland and George. Real champion, three sheer Usdale bred rum from uh, Huey and Dean McKenzie, Langdale at Cambrice and Sutherland. He was bought at Lair last year. It is by an Ock and Toe, two pairs. South Country Cheviot stands next, the three Cheviots always stand in the row. Susie this time, won by a two-sheer round from Jimmy and George Irvin at Mount Benger, who are producing their second champion winner in 20 years exhibiting. Well, that's good to get back in there again. The winner next, Jack Bob, has bought a locker made for Sheerland for 2,800 from Jim Roberts, and is by Stipfield Blackjo. Female champion cross tight Taylor, a home break up from you, from Alan and Billy Common, cross tight from Mockerbury. Look at Lester champion, a home bred three top you from Camerton Breeder, Mrs. Mary Turner, from Kellogg Dowick, shown by Stockman Shepherd, Joan and Lord McLaughlin. Champion at Middle Gale last year, she's by an £1,100 Fennel Sire. Male champion, a home bred two sheer arm from Randy and Jimmy Bell, who in the cottage floor based at Bell Hill at Abington. He was first at Beavers last year and is the result of a bought in inland female brought from the Hugo Ward. This was a very strong session for Bluefist Esters. Hebridean champion, home played Tushia Ram from Rutherford Beavers, Darren and Cathy Cossey, owned by Darren Stepson Cameron. The tap is by a home based sire and soon second at Stafford County Show and first at the three counties. Female champion was a home bred two club new from Mal Crofters, Jeff and Enid Moore. The first time showing females by a top bot from Douglas Laurie at Bathgate. Next we have the distinctive curled sheep, the black and white ones with the big horns. Jacob Champion from Gordon Cornham, Scott Rimple for a record breaking fifth consecutive year. This time with a home bred two sheer ram Dunmore Xerox, which two champion Angus and last year took the bead honours at five. The top from Bridge End and Lithgow is by the home best sire, Dunmore Uppity. I don't know where they get these names. Female champion, a two crop view from a growth breeder, Mrs. Edith Crow. She was bought as a ewe lamb from Ian and Callum Smith at the Beat Sailors and Boswell. Next we have the Ryland champion, and that was a good session. From Andrew Hunter Blair and White Nether Cluck Dubai with a gimmer, home bred, Carsford Spice is by Carsford Knight out of a former champion winner here and one of only five views in the floor. Well, if they're five views and have a champion, that is absolutely fantastic. The male champion showing here for the second time from Janice and Eddie Henderson at Landings at East Lairton and Milner Thorpe with a homebred shearing ram. He was overall to be champion at the smallholders show at Fourth Farm last year. Next we welcome the Swales. They have made a big impact to the show. Well known show you from first time exhibitors Patrick and Kirsty Survey from Mossdale at Hawes. Now when it was a home bred three crop by a privately purchased ram that stood champion at Tanhill and Moorcock and both numerous. 
male champion, home bed top hog from Greg Dalton, and we all hope that Bishop Auckland, to second at Eastgate and Roman Wall Show, is by a six and a half thousand long green sire. And right at the bottom, the so far away I can't see. Let me take my glasses off. Shetland champion, two crop new from Kelsey Base Beaters, Patrick Playfair, a rural surveyor, and his wife Denise, an artist. Their winner, Wrench Diner, bred by the late Tom Finlay and bought at his dispersal as a gimmer, is a white faced female island Tom. Male champion, homebred Douchey of Arm from John Brunton, a regular exhibitor here from Harrington, a top field view Linton by Wormison Hamilton on his first outing here this year. So the judge has done the first viewing of the credit and the non credit. He's back in the credit ring here. Taking a final look. I'm sure you've all got your own favourites, but I think that when the judge taps his winning pair, I hope that you applaud to show your appreciation. Can I thank the Thompson family once again for sponsoring this competition? It's a great. They've been regular winners of the pairs for years and years and years. I'm not saying that because you're old, by the way. <laughs> You just have uh, been so good at supporting this show and supporting this fierce competition. And it's um, great to uh, really appreciate it.